Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. TFA on the move, different setup, but still same video today. We are talking about the SBC that is maybe finally dropping in this game. We've been looking forward to it for a couple of days now. We're talking about that hero pack. Will EA drop it today? We got to look at the other content coming today as well. The mini release, more Trailblazers players coming into packs. So we're going to go over all, all that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's content really fast. As always, we had a couple different player SBCs. First of all, we had the SBC4 is Malia Sar, a great super sub item coming in at 56,000 coins and also links that Jonathan Klaus card from Road to the Knockouts. His price is going up a bit. This SBC is being very well received with the four star skills and really it's the pace in this card that makes it worth doing 95 acceleration, 96 sprint speed and not bad dribbling stats either for a card that's pretty cheap to do. You take a look at Footbin and it's coming in right around. 50,000 coins and it's just one squad to complete which is just the 85 rated squad with a team of the week so craftable maybe a little bit expensive again in this early stage of the game with how much fodder you maybe have but that one's nice two back-to-back -back days of solid SBCs both technically wing type players but in my opinion I think that's a dub for super sub reasons for sure now another player SBC that dropped yesterday was again an under kind of upgraded Squad foundations, this time for the WSL, we had Van de Sanden, and this card doesn't look too bad, but really, as you look at the objectives that go along with this, it's just, again, the same trend over and over that these squad foundations cards for all these kind of lower leagues just don't get a good enough juice to be usable for most players. Now, Liverpool links here, and especially if you go to objectives, you got some other um, players from these big clubs on, on the women's side of things, but you, I think there was... Brighton, you have Chelsea involved in there, and Arsenal with Hertig, Carter, and Vicky Losada. So big links there, which are not too bad, but again, the, the stats are just not really there. And I don't think these interest as many people as we could have been interested in these because their stats are just not as great. So really bummed by those, but that's just kind of the trend that's been continuing with all of those objective cards and with the squad foundations in general. So after that, yesterday's content, the market did do pretty well. We'll talk market a bit more in a second, but let's get to the big news today. We're hoping for better content today on Sunday. And last Sunday was pretty good. If you do remember, we had the David Beckham SBC, but will EA do something that they did on Sundays in years past. That is the hero upgrade pack. We're talking about that today, guys, because we thought it was dropping last week on, on Wednesday. The pack is in the code and we've just been waiting and we haven't seen it yet, but maybe today is that day. Also, it'd be hilarious if they went out and did what they did last year right around this time, make that huge mistake of dropping the 25K hero pack in the store. Not expecting that, but for real, it really could be a day today where we see the max 87 hero SBC. I, I even think there is a leaker that tweeted out that he is expecting to see. Now, again, this is one of those leak accounts that we're not 100% sure is really credible just yet, but he is saying that the Max 87 is coming today on Sunday, and that does kind of fit the vibe of years past where Sundays were the Icon SBC and the hero SBC days when they would drop. So if that's gonna to be today, that's gonna to shake up content a lot. I'm still watching like 85 to 87 rated fodder guys. I think that with an SBC like this hero pack, we talked about it in a video last week, how much we think it might cost. I don't think it's gonna be that expensive. It's the 84, 85, 86, and 87 rated cards that I think would move the most if that SBC would be dropping today. Honestly, a hero upgrade pack in my mind has to be cheaper than the Rodrigo SBC. Rodrigo's coming in at what, three, 400,000 coins. I know that all fodder is up right now and that's gonna make this SBC probably a little more expensive than what it should be um, for the cards that are in it. There's a lot of lower tier cards. Again, if we take a look at some of the list of the, the hero players that could potentially be in this pack, I mean, yes, you've got the 87 rated max. So Tevez, Futre, uh, Di Natale, Voller are not in it at all. You've got some great players in here, but you also got some players that are not going to be as desirable. Like Nakata is going to be super packable. Rosicki, Mostavoy, Yunberg, those types of players. I just can't imagine that this SBC is going to be more than like 200,000 coins to get it done. And I think that's going to make the low tier of fodder move the most and probably move the best. So I'm definitely watching out for that. And maybe today with squad battle rewards, you could go out on the market 
and pick up some of those, especially like the 86s that we shouted in yesterday's video, like 8K. Those have started to move up in price. I think they're like 8.6 or 8.7 thousand coins for that part of the market. Also, if there were uh, to be that SBC today, there would be probably some panic selling on some of these heroes that are going to be in the pack once again. Maybe a Ramirez gets panic sold a little bit, but also a card like this, or I think we mentioned this in the other video when we were looking about looking at the hero pack, would be a card like Robbie Keane. He would probably get panic sold. People would be like, oh my goodness, the pack is out. There's panic. I got to sell cards to do the pack. But at the same time, He's not going to get packed that much, right? It's going to be the Riziki, the Nakata, those types of players are going to get packed the most. So there could be some panic and a bounce back. And on the whole market in general, if we get that hero pack today, there's definitely going to be at least some panic just about everywhere because that is just an SBC that so many people want to do. I wouldn't think that it'd be like a crazy, crazy amount of panic today for that. But we'll talk more about Sunday market here in just a second. Other SBCs that could be today, we do still have the potential, I guess, for Laurent Blanc, an icon SBC. Maybe EA scrap the hero pack today and do what they did last week, drop an icon player SBC. We had, um, of course, the Beckham last Sunday. Blanc is leaked. If this drops, I also think this one's going to end up being overpriced because of how expensive fodder is right now. I believe Blanc... Uh, on the market is still around 400,000 coins, which this is a really good center back card, guys. And a lot of people would want to craft this SBC. He's got great um, play styles. He's got the jockey. He's got the anticipate plus bruiser and aerial. And he's medium high work rates. Three star weak foot's not the best, but the great France links as well. And also center attacking mid alternative position for some interesting squad building opportunities. Even though the stats don't look amazing on a card like this, if the price is anywhere near doable, even with fodder at the high price that it is, this is an SBC that a lot of people would want to do just because I, I don't know how good he is in, in this year's game, but I can't imagine he's bad, especially with all those play styles and the fact that he's an icon. Icons just give so much chemistry this year in squad building. I think that SBC would probably be more than what he is on the market. But that could be a potential part of content that would drop today as well. And then we can't forget about, as always on Sundays, we're looking at a mini release. And these are the players that are going to be in the mini release today. We've got Henderson, Mitoma, and Dante. I think Mitoma would definitely be the most hyped out of these. And we're going to keep an eye on their prices for most of the day on Sunday. Because some of them, or probably Mitoma, depending on the stats, right? If he looks really good could get really, really cheap and then rise up really, really high into Monday morning. We saw that last week with a couple of cards, um, namely Hinkape, right? Gutso went up as well, but I think Mitoma would have a lot of hype, so we gotta keep a fresh eye out for that kind of situation on the market as well as we head into like Sunday night into the evening. Now, let's talk about the market a bit more. Do you need to sell, right? Just looking at Rafael Varane's price, and he's what, 85, 80, 83, 84, somewhere in there? Just right around 85k where he's been right yesterday the market had a pretty nice rise which was expected right let's take a look at veron on footbin because i've been following his price at least a little bit and knowing where he's been fluctuating we had a nice saturday morning rise which is always to be expected as everybody's out playing foot champs veron went from 84k up to 89 dropped back down to content the market is still feeling very like safe is i think the best way to describe it at the moment there's not a lot of panic and i'm not expecting a lot of panic a hero pack today would create some more and it would probably cause some dips on the market but I don't think it would be a reason for you to have to go out and sell. Where's Rashford? That's another player that I've been keeping an eye on in prices. He's still like 170. If he's still 170, the market's still really stable. He's okay, 160. So he's down a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's maybe anticipation for today's content. I mean, Rashford was 177 yesterday. And also we do have squad battle rewards upcoming. Maybe some of these prices kick back after squad battle rewards. But still, overall, the market seems to be a pretty pretty stable space. I also have to wonder, is the fact that so many people are spending coins on fodder, especially the high rateds, to get guys like Sun done, to get the Rodrigo done, is that effect starting to hit the market where people's coins are being drained a little bit? Um, or is it just kind of natural fluctuation as we go throughout the weekend, as people are buying and selling cards for teams and all that sort of thing. I wouldn't be too worried about the market right now. Even if we get really good content today, I think the market would bounce back really well into tomorrow and Monday too if there's an opportunity 
to get in on some really, really low prices. Now, let's talk about low prices and, and maybe a couple of these cards that you could see rise up this morning on Sunday with Squad Battle Rewards. If you watch this video before then, it might be a decent idea to go out and find a gold card like Rashford or maybe Varane, who's a bit low, and try to pick them up and sell them after Squad Battle Rewards because the past couple of weeks, it has been a really good time to make some quick flips on the market. This week, for sure, there's going to be a lot of rewards paid out because during this last week, if you guys remember, we had the whole squad battles like glitch thing where people were playing 3v3 in squad battles because of like whatever, was it like a Volta glitch or something? People were trying to get top 100 by playing 3v3 against ultimate squad battles. So um, there's going to be definitely some people getting rewards from that today. And I think that'll create some positive um, price movement on the market. I would also say for today, look for snipes on fodder. If you're looking to do an SBC like I am for like Sun or for Rodrigo, or if you think the hero pack's coming today and you maybe want to get some 86s or 85s on a low price, definitely look at these prices on bid and snipe during rewards because that'll be an opportunity of pack supply where you could find some of those. So that's definitely what I would mention for the squad battle rewards market kind of thing today. And guys, also, we got to keep an eye on the SBCs. Are they going to finally drop some more supply? Are they going to try to keep these fodder prices in check? Or are they just going to keep dropping more player SBCs and let them keep rising? Trailblazer Challenge 1 was dropped on Friday. I have to imagine we would get one of these either every other day or every couple days. I was expecting one yesterday. We didn't get it. But definitely with another Challenge SBC today, or we could see the return of the 100k packs in the store. They uh, are gone now and they didn't come back yesterday. There's still 50Ks. I would not be surprised if there was more store packs today, especially with the mini release being out. So all in all, it really just kind of comes down to does EA go for the Icon SBC today with like Blanc or do they go with a big Hero Pack SBC? Hero Pack would definitely create some movement on the market. There'd be great opportunities to trade with that. Focus on out of pack specials. Um, if, you're, if you're looking for a safe place to make quick flips, on the market, uh, out of pack specials are always a really good place to go, whether they're expensive ones, whether they're cheaper ones, just because they don't have as much supply, they fluctuate down really fast. Like this Luis Diaz is one that every single day goes from like 660 or 670 all the way back to 730. Osa Men Road to the Knockouts, these RTTK cards from Team One are great to trade with. Early on, Informs are amazing to trade with as well. Osaman's really high right now, over 600,000 coins. He was, I'm pretty sure he was about 520k yesterday at one point. And of course, watch out for your Trailblazers because these cards do fluctuate really, really well each day. I've been keeping an eye on like Jude Bellingham this evening. Um, he was like a million coins yesterday and he was, yeah, he still is at 870. Maybe he goes back to like 950 or something today after rewards. So that's the sort of thing you could watch out on for a market fluctuation today as well. But it's really going to come down to, does EA want to drop a hero pack today or just an Icon SBC for Blanc? Or maybe they just drop Declan Rice with the mini release that comes out. The mini release is like the number one guaranteed thing today. Everything else, we'll see what EA wants to do. But that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Fulton Catch you guys later. Peace out.